the introduction to our episode. Hola, hola, como están? We are the World Girls. I'm Dorina. I'm Steph. And I'm Roxy. And we give everything a whirl. Today we're giving Day of the Dead a whirl. Which also translates to Dia de Muertos. So we're going to build an altar. Chica tu maga! The arch actually is the entrance to the underworld. When you're waiting for the dead people to come, are you allowed to watch? So you want to like set up a little party for them to come exactly. home to. Exactly. My much. mom for sure liked the sex yes. the drug talk. A darle un giro. A, a darle un whirl. <laughs> So Day of the Dead, Dia de Muertos, is from October 31st throughout November 2nd. And what happens is that supposedly the spirits of our loved ones that are deceased come and visit this altar that we're building for them. Is Coco an accurate depiction? You think of the vibe? I think so. I really think Coco is one of the most accurate movies that Pixar and Disney have ever made. Recuérdame. Recuérdame. It's good. Recuérdame. It's a good movie. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, no, I liked it fine. Did you not cry? That was good. It was good. Did you oh not no, cry? she doesn't want to give Roxy it. Roxy didn't cry. She doesn't Coco. want to ruin this episode for us, D. That's it's what's happening. It's very good. I li I liked it. You're the only person I know that did not really lose good. Shit. It, was, it was good. But you Here didn't comes cry. Critic rocks. I liked she it didn't fine. Cry. Her tomato meter is not high. What tomato. am I not allowed to build the altar now? Because I thought Coco <laughs> was very good. I thought Coco was very good. It was a good, very good movie. Yesterday, in preparation for today's episode, we actually went downtown and visited a lot of cool shops. We got some marigolds. Flores de Cempasuchil. That's we, what we said. Yeah, yeah, I said that. Yeah, and then sugar skulls. Calaveras. Calaveras. Nice. Also what I said. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff that we're going to be putting on this altar today. <gasps> oh, stop it. Oh my god, wait, we need these? Wait, this would be a sick vase. So what is the order? Like, how do you start building an altar? It's kind of dealer's choice. So first, we're actually going to start with the papel picado, papel which is picado. Papel, papel picado. picado. Who says it better, me or staff? OK, say it. Say it again. Papel picado. Papel picado. That's pretty close. And also, other than the papel picado, we're going to be doing the flowers, which is sempasuchil. What's the last part? With the TL, sempasuchitl. Okay. Sampasuchitil. Perfect. No, mine was way I think better. I got you're, that. No, I think you're, you're trash. trash. Literally riding trash. on my coattails once again. Go again. Sampasuchitil. 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 That's really good. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Whatever. You did Suck it. it. <laughs> Sampasuchitil <laughs> fucking champion. Sampasuchitil <laughs> champion. <laughs> There's levels to the altar. And so each level apparently means different things. High fashion, girl. <laughs> High fashion. All right. Get out of here, you clown. So technically, the top level is supposed to be heaven. And then the middle level is supposed to be earth. The lower level is supposed to be the underworld of the Aztecs. So that's your cool. level. You should want to start down there. So let's do it. Oh, OK. OK, so Roxy had a good idea to drape it. I'm like. such a good idea kind of bitch. Yeah. So apparently, they say that papel picado uh, represents wind and fragility. Like male fragility? Definitely. The next step is uh, flores de cempasuchil, the flowers. The scent and the color of the flowers actually helps the spirits get to the altar. It guides the spirits to visit the altar. So we're going to make an arch of flowers, or we're going to attempt to make an arch of flowers, because the arch actually is the entrance to the underworld. Dee, what's your favorite part of Day of the Dead? You guys know how much I love Halloween and I love dressing up. But with Day of the Dead, it's just cool because the whole point of it is that you're honoring your dead. It's like the one time of the year that's specifically meant to celebrate the dead. In your cultures or your religions, do you have things like this where you celebrate your dead? We light mad candles for dead people all the time. And then also at Temple, some of our dead people's names are on the wall. It, it's more than that, but that's my brief overview of being Jewish. May I please have some tape, yeah. sir? Gracias. More tape, please. Oliver makes me cry more than Coco. The, you know Oliver, what, Oliver, Oliver. It's a good movie. See what I did? That works. Steph, you need to be doing yours. I don't know. I wasn't like... So do you like a do little yeah. loop thing. I can do it. Okay, you want to do it? Yeah. Just do that. Like, around it. I got it. 
Cool. I don't got it. Oh, it's because it's farther away than yeah, me. Yeah, that's how I was. It. So then, then do that. Okay. Then yes. This is a really good job, guys. And okay, it's it stayed. Set. We Whoa! have the actual arch. So now we just have to put a bunch of flowers all over. So Dee, we take these, we cut the stems off, and we put them here like, like they're flat flowers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like a flat earther, but a flat flower. Are you a flat earther, Roxy? Yeah. You know how they say a watch pot never boils? Are you supposed to? Well, first of all, do you guys know that no. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, you never heard that? <laughs> no. Are you, when you're waiting for the dead people to come, are you allowed to watch? I don't think there's a rule like with Santa Claus. How come you can't see them? Well, some people say they can see them. They do? Mm -hmm. I feel like I've seen a ghost. I think Steph has. Yeah. It's very weird. People you know? No. How do you know it's a ghost? Well, I just feel like That's I feel question. like a presence, but it's always usually positive, so I let it be. Scary shit, man. I'm gonna start putting some of these candles around. The candles, similar to the flowers, are actually meant to help guide the spirits as well. Love that. Wow, I'm doing a killer job right now. Good. Good job, Mark. Thank you. The reason we have so many skulls on the altar is because they're meant to represent and remind us about the brevity of life. As you know, Roxy and I are terrified of dying. Steph is just more chill than us because she's a witch. No, she's scared. She just won't say it out loud. Oh, I'm not scared of death. Okay. I just feel like when it's my time, it's like a... It'll be my motherfucking time. <laughs> these particular ones are sugar skulls, so you can actually eat these. Yum. They're very good. So basically now we have to add salt and water as well. Water is literally meant to quench the thirst of the spirits. And then the salt is just a purifying element. In addition to the salt and water, I put a World Girl spin wow. on Dia de Muertos with some tequila. Wow, Perfect. D, Steph. Let's see. Or salud. 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 So the good sex, the good sex, salud. Very drinking. <laughs> Woo! I felt the spirits in that one. Good. You guys, I am so proud of this, by the way, this so far. This is beautiful. I, yeah. Look, I'm Bonita. not saying I didn't have... Altar bonito. Altar bonito. Like altar pretty. It's like altar. Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty altar, but back rose. Altar bonito. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> what about baby Yoda? Altar bonito. There you go. You guys got Roxy's Yoda. Ba Roxy's baby Yoda, actually. It's so good. Uh, Thanks. So now the next step is the intimate step where we're actually going to be adding things that are deceased actually loved. Foods, drinks, uh, weed. So you want to like set up a little party for them to come home exactly, to. Exactly. I'm Steph. so here for that. Yes. I, as I told you guys, I, sh I chose my grandma. My bolita, her name was Aurora, uh, like Sleeping Beauty. So this is my oh, grandma. Oh wow. wow, she's beautiful. You guys yeah. have similarities. Yeah, cheekbones. Yeah. She is my mom's mom. And when my parents were divorced, I was very young. I was like five. And so my grandma took care of me and my brother a lot when we were kids. Uh, and also my uncle, uh, who was her son that had Down syndrome, and she took care of him like her whole life. And so uh, she passed away like four months after my uncle died. And so uh, I wanted to honor both of them as well. So I brought tamales, Ooh. which my grandma made the best tamales in the world. I'm not joking, like they were so good. And then I also brought <laughs> Coca-Cola. She liked Diet Coke. It's uh, she did. Stuff. She wasn't a liquor drinker. Uh, unlike myself, my grandma was actually a very elegant lady. So I'm gonna put my grandma there. What was your guys' relationship like? She was actually similar to me. She she was a radio political personality, and she went to protest. She was all about justice and fighting for human rights. So that's where I got it from. She, she was so funny. She loved music. She loved to dance. She loved to laugh, and and she just loved uh, really dark humor. The only difference between us is that she did not like cussing. So this is my Obachan Seiko and my Grandpa Liston. Um, and I had to do them together because there is really no one without the other. They have the most beautiful love story. He was stationed in Japan after World War II. It was like love at first sight. So they moved to America 
Um, and that's actually when they both passed, we had their ashes spread across the Pacific Ocean because that's where they crossed to find each other's love. And that was in the words of my grandpa. So it was a really, really beautiful love story. And so I'm gonna honor them both. To start off, I have my grandma's piano book. We did two things together, piano and origami. Mm. And this is in Japanese. So th I thought it was even more <gasps> special that it was her actual, when she, her first book that she ever learned piano with. That's so cool. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, was she, she good? Was, yeah, she was amazing. For my grandpa, he was a Cal Bear, and he was very, very proud about that. Both of them were teachers, and so and they taught special ed. So I wanted to honor his school and his alma mater. I also had to bring my grandma's teapot. So pretty. Yeah. Uh, we would always drink tea out of this, and I think every time like, I close my eyes and envision meeting up with her again, we're drinking tea together and just like chilling and talking about life. That's the tea, sis. <laughs> That's the motherfucking tea. Sorry, Grandma. I should not have cussed when I'm talking about <laughs> motherfucking you. Motherfucking <laughs> tea. <laughs> okay, so this is my mom, Lori. Uh, and this is her actually when she was in her 20s. And I love this picture of her because it just really highlights who she was. Always smiling like the happiest person on the planet, never having a bad day, uh, super feisty. I think I got a lot of that from her. So Looks pretty. Grab this. Totally has your smile. My mom was like the most massive Bruce Springsteen fan. She went traveling around the country to over 50 of his shows in her time. What? And when I was like a couple of months old in Los Angeles, we were here, and she left me in a car in 103 degree heat because she saw Bruce Springsteen. And she was like, I don't even care that I have a baby in the car. I'm going to meet this man. You so, respect that? A hundred percent. And now if I ever get a chance to meet him. You'll be I'm, so happy to hear that story. A hundred percent. I'm going to tell him one yeah. day. I know it. So this was a sweater of hers that I wear all of the time too. And actually the last thing my mom and I ever did together was go to a Bruce Springsteen concert. No way. Yeah. She was really, really sick and could barely make it there. But she, it was really important to her that we go together. And in right. Boston, we went to the show together. So this like means the whole world to me. And one day I'm going to tell him about that. Also, being the bad bitch that my mom was, Facts. she is like a massive, massive cannabis supporter. She never drank, but she loved her weed. So I brought her some pre-rolled J's. My mom rolled really shitty J's, even though she thought she was amazing. She used to get in joint rolling competitions. This is a card that she wrote me that I keep in my bedside um, when I went to college. And she wrote me this letter that was about like being me and using condoms and making sure that I lived my best life and treated people well. And I read this at night all of the time whenever I'm missing her because she just was like, always treating me like a person. Well, maybe your mom and your grandma can get my grandma high tonight. Oh. I think that would be really wonderful. My grandma will not participate, but my grandma will, will she judge probably. you? Absolutely not. She <laughs> supports you, full send. <laughs> Okay, so the last part is basically lighting our candles in order for the spirits to be guided to our altar. So then we're done. It's lit. I can't even use this. Properly. Let there be light. I have a pro tip for men that okay. Roxy disagrees with. I think men, if you have women coming over that you're, or a woman, whoever coming over that you're trying to impress, light an incense. When I walk in and there's an incense lighting, whew, you know, you've almost sealed the deal. I love a good candle lighting. I do not like a man with an incense. Oh my God, I love incense and candles. Set the mood, get some music going. You don't, you wouldn't want to really walk good. into that? Absolutely not. This. I do not like the smell at all. Oh my goodness. It smells very strong. So good. So it funny. smells like I love Axe it. body spray. You can be best friends and just have completely and it different. Smells like, it smells like a guy is like expecting you to have sex with him but it's not gonna be good sex. No. Like, he's like, I'm not gonna go down no, no. on you. I'm not in the- No, oh, they, smell, they smell so good that I would go down on him. No. It's like incense, no. you know how I to wish. set the mood. But it smells like fucking chalk. Chalk. It smells Cork. like chalk. It smells Cork. like chakra are aligned. That's chakra what it smells like. Chakras are aligned. very important. You're trying to say chakras? What is so mine? guys, we did it. You think they're proud of us right now? I mean, I don't know yeah. if they like the sex and the drug talk as My much. mom for sure liked the sex yes. and the drug talk. Yes, Lori Not does. Part of people. Lori does. Yeah. This smell is lit. Like, I honestly can't stand here oh, much longer. We what? have to get out. I love it so much. <laughs> We did it. We built an altar. We gave 
Day of the Dead, Dia de Muertos, a whirl. If there's anything else you guys want to see us give a whirl, just let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, but let's get out of here so our people can come. Adios, Adios familia! familia. <laughs> Brendan thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>